Welcome. Today's webinar, we are going to be covering billing one, which is setup. In this webinar, you will we will show you how to set up billing preferences in Open Dental. Setting up billing preferences should be done prior to generating monthly billing statements. After this webinar, we will know how to create and edit billing types, set up email billing types, apply billing types to patients, set module preferences for statements, create Dunning messages for statements, know the differences between Dunning messages and general messages, and set your billing defaults. With that, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is show you how to create a billing type. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to Setup, Definitions, and we're going to go ahead and select Billing Types. To add a billing type, you will go ahead and click Add. You'll give that billing type a name, and then here you'll go ahead and either add E for email, C for collection, which is the TSI for collection, and you can find more information on that in the link below. CE for collection, excluded, or you would leave it blank for standard billing. I've already gone ahead and created an email billing type, and in that I have an E, which means that the E will go ahead and assign patients inside this billing type. It will email them that. But please keep in mind that standard email is not a secure method of sending statements. And so for more information, please see our manual. We've gone ahead and clicked OK because I've already created that. And we're going to go ahead and close out of this window. Now that we've created our billing type, let's go ahead and set that to our patient. So I've already gone ahead and brought up my patient. We will go ahead and go into the family module double click into patient information and set the billing type here to that new one that I just created of email. And then we'll click OK. And this patient is now set to email billing type. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go into manage module preferences. So set up, manage, and manage preferences. In the Manage Preferences, we're going to be dealing with the Billing and Statements area. And the Billing and Statements area, will go ahead and these options will affect our billing defaults and what shows on our statements. Show Return Address. This option is checked and when checked, it will show the practice or clinic address as the return address. Show Notes for Payments. When checked, notes entered on the payment window show with any payment entries. These notes always show in the payment patient account grid in the account module. Show notes for adjustments. When checked, notes entered on the adjustment edit window show with any adjustment entries. Show procedure breakdown. When checked, Additional financial information will show in the description column for each procedure. So for example, like the patient portion, insurance paid, write-offs and adjustments. The drop-down for account numbers use. You'll select whether to use either chart number or PAT number for the account number. And you'll just go ahead and use the drop-down to choose your selection. Days to calculate due date. This option, you'll want to go ahead and enter the number of days that will be used to calculate the due date on statements. If you leave it blank, what will display is due on receipt. Days in advance to bill payment plan amounts due. This option, you'll enter the number of days in advance of a payment due date that statements will be triggered to print when running billing. Account module statements default to intermingle mode. When checked, statements generated from the account module default to intermingle family members. Future appointments for all family members will display on walkout statements. When this option is unchecked, statements generated from the account module do not intermingle families by default. So each patient will have a section on their statement and only the selected patient's future appointments will display on the walkout statements max number of statements per batch. 
enter the, nu the max number of statements that will be considered a batch when sending statements via the billing list. Number entered cannot be greater than 256, and you'll want to enter zero to set no limit. This will be ignored if you're using output to file and EDS options in electronic billing, and this may be useful for large offices that send many statements. Show progress when sending statements. This determines whether or not a progress bar shows when sending statements via the billing list. And this option here, print states alphabetically, will only show and is only visible when clinics is enabled. And so this will determine the order of state that statements are printed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK because I've already set my little options that I've wanted. And let's go ahead and go into the billing defaults window. So for the billing defaults window, we're gonna go to the manage module. We're gonna go ahead and click on billing. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this little defaults right here. And so this is our billing defaults. So the first option we have here is to intermingle family members. This determines how family account history is grouped on statements. This also, this setting also determines the default setting for the intermingle box on the main billing option window, which is the window right behind this window. So when we have this checked, family members will be mixed together on the statement and transactions will be ordered by date. If unchecked, each family member will have their own section on the statement with a total. Start date last the number of days of account history that will show on each statement. The value will be used to calculate the default start date on the main billing options window, which again is this little window right behind us. So we'll go ahead and determine the dates used here. Show all transactions since zero balance. If checked, all transactions since the last date the account's balance was zero will print on the statement. General message. This is the default message that shows at the bottom of statements and above Dunning messages if the office is using them when generated using the billing list. So here we would go ahead and just type in what we need to do if you guys want to include a general message. There's my little general message. If you guys have information about online payment options, you also could go ahead and add that information there. Moving on, electronic billing. So these uh, settings will affect statements sent electronically. And electronic billing allows statements to be sent electronically to a third party billing service. Email statements. This will go ahead and edit the default subject message for statements that are emailed via the billing list or account module. Again, note that standard email is not a secure method for sending statements. Uh, for more information, please see our web manual. Invoice note. This is the default note that will appear on invoices sent in the account module. SMS statements. This is the default message for SMS text message is sent via the billing list. You can see a list of available variables at the link below. And then the box here for send text messages for these modes. You can set the default modes to send additional text messages to when generating statements from the billing list. The text message can include a clickable link the patient can use to make online payments integrated texting feature must also be enabled and patient must be set up to accept text messages. Now that I have all of that set up, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to Dunning messages. And Dunning messages are notes and email messages that show on billing statements generated via the billing list. And the messages are generated based on account aging, insurance pending, billing type, or a combination of this criteria. So let's go ahead and click on Setup, Dunning. 
and we're going to go ahead and click on add to create a new dunning message and let's go ahead and create that new dunning message so our billing type we'll want to go ahead and highlight the billing type to assign the message to i'm creating one for bad debt pre-collections age of account we'll want to go ahead and select the account age this message will apply to mine will be applying to over 90 days since I've selected an over 90 day balance here, we show that we have a days in advance box that now has displayed. The days in advance box is a value that you may enter if you want to trigger the Dunning message a certain number of days before an account reaches an aging bucket. If set to zero, the message will be triggered at the day of the account age selected. So since I've selected 90, it's going to be triggered at 90. Insurance payment pending. Select whether to include patients who have insurance pay pending, uh, which is yes, exclude them, which is no, or select if it doesn't matter. Statement notes. Text entered as a message appears once at the bottom of the statement, and text entered as a bold message here appears in bold, red at the top and bottom of the statement. So let's go ahead and put in some information because I'm creating my Dunning message here. Notice that that's in big old bold red and that's how it will display on the statement. Moving on to the email statement override section. You'll enter the subject and or message body for emailed statements. Variables can be used and this message will override the billing defaults email message. So let's go ahead and create our little email template. So I've chosen to use some variables. You can find a list of variables at our link below. And so this will go ahead and display on our email, email messages. So messages that meet the filter criteria will show on the patient statement. And Dunning messages can be filtered by clinic, then sorted by criteria complexity. Messages with more general criteria appear higher in the list, and messages with stricter criteria appear lower in the list. So the first message that matches the billing criteria will be used starting from the bottom up. And just a couple things to keep in note with your Dunning messages. Only one Dunning message will be used on any bill. The Dunning message email statement template overrides the billing defaults email statements template. If a billing defaults general message exists, it will appear on the statement note above any Dunning messages, and Dunning messages do not show when a single statement is generated. So we'll click OK and close out of here, and I've created that Dunning message. And this was an overview of billing one setup. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.